Hi guys, me and Liam uh, here for our last blog. Um, we spoke last time about how we just got back home and now we can sort of speak a little bit more about what we've actually been doing because we've been back for a, for a little while now. So um, I think I can kick that off. I mean, I've currently got one of four Christmas trees sat right next to me in the house already. Mrs. absolutely loves Christmas time. Um, you know, we've got these Christmas trees. We've got polar bears. We've got reindeers. We've got sleigh. When it comes to Christmas, my missus does not hold anything back. Um, so I'm definitely feeling the Christmas spirit already, even though it's still only, what is it, November? Mid-November, yeah. A little bit early for me. Um, you got any Christmas trees up with yours yet? We actually had it yesterday. Um, I was trying to hold off for as long as I could because Olivia is mad about Christmas. And she was like, let's do the tree, let's do the tree, let's do the tree. We actually went to housing units the other day. Uh, and uh, I was shopping for sofas and dining room tables and stuff to try and kit out my house. And we ended up in an hour and a half in the Christmas section, completely mm -hmm. redesigning our Christmas tree because the the um the colours in the whole house were grey and blue and now it's beige and cream apparently I have no idea what that means so apparently you had to change the whole Christmas tree so for about half an hour or an hour yesterday I was trying to string matchstick men which are about this big into my tree because you can't hang them on anything because they're too heavy and apparently it's a cool thing to to do now is to Tang match stitch match match stick men in your Christmas tree. So that was my day um, yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Um, Go on, I, I tell Christmas you what, tree. I tell you what, you will have right because this is funny. I'm smiling because I've had it, I've had it all before. You will get asked to do help Christmas decorations. You will go off and do your little bit, and you'll be buzzing. You're like, oh yeah, come look at this. They'll look at it. Nah, not good. I'm gonna have to redo that. So yeah, when you, I you it in, I've got it. I've I've sussed Christmas out because I've I've had it for so many years now. I just refuse to help. I will put the last thing on top of the Christmas tree because I just go look for years now. I've helped. I've done this. I've done that. But then you just come in. You say you don't like it and you redo it anyway. So you know what? I'm just hands up. I'm not doing anything. Just a little tip. I tried. Up. I tried to be nice yesterday, and I was like, "Listen, Liv, I'll help you." Uh, so I put the tree together. Um, plugged it in all the lights are already in the christmas tree which is a massive bonus and then i was like which star do you want on the top tried to put one of the stars on the top she was like what on earth are you doing i was like well i was just asking which star. she was like that is so unlucky to put the star on first so i was like right that's it <laughs> i was like call me when you need help otherwise i'm sitting by the fire and watching the tv so yeah i watched the cricket well she did that so it worked out pretty well in the end and then I was trying because we get to we go to the West Indies, get back on the twenty third. So I actually don't need too many Christmas decorations because I'm not here. So uh, she wanted some outside lights. So we currently have a string of about it's about a meter long of light around one tree. It looks absolutely pathetic, but it kept her happy. So 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 we've gone with it. So yeah, um, as Christmas goes, my house consists of a tree and one pathetic. So I've liked in a tree. And you're definitely, you're definitely out. going to be coming home to like the North Pole on the twenty third. Hundred percent. Allow it. Guarantee it. Guarantee oh, it. Liv's going to go around and there's going to be there's going to be Christmas tree in every room. Hundred <laughs> percent. Do you know what the worst thing about it is? As it's all going up, I know exactly what's going to happen when it's coming down. It's going to be all me. I'm the one that's going to have to take them all down. Mm -hmm. The fun bit is putting them up, not taking them down. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to avoid as much um, as much Christmas stuff as possible. Um, I'm going actually going home, home for Christmas, back up north um, to my family home. So, um, yeah, that was my excuse to not have too much Christmas stuff going up in my house. Nice. I mean, you've had a chance to catch up with um, like family and friends. I mean, for me, obviously, being away for so long, like, I enjoy sort of getting home and then just sort of milling about like lying on the sofa sort of just being around you know like Claire and the kids even though they're busy you know their lives continue when I get back but for me like the first you know week to 10 days in particular is just all about you know lying down on the sofa um lying with me 
dogs, you know, chilling with the kids, watching TV with Claire in the evening. So like I I will eventually go out and see, you know, my friends I haven't seen in, in you know, that whole time we've been away. But for me, the initial period of getting back away from after a long tour is just all about being at home, being around, you know, wife, kids and, and the dogs and then sort of looking at right, let's go out for some lunch with some friends and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if the same for you. What's what's your crack? I don't think you can beat the feeling of being able to sit on your sofa, turn on Sky and watch TV. Especially when you've been in India, when you spend your life in a hotel room. I don't know why, but it just feels weird when you've always got to lie in a bed to watch TV. Yeah. So, yeah, certainly being able to just chill out, watch some sport and TV, chill with, chill on the sofa. And then, yeah, for me, <clears throat> I always try and get back up to um, to my family. I've obviously got grandparents um, and parents that live live back in Barrow. So I'll try and go up there as, as soon as possible. It's been nice to, to get back up over the last couple of days and see them and, and yeah, do some um, sort of catching up with friends from there that I probably see twice a year don't really get a chance to, to get back up that often. So, yeah, um, go and catch up with them, uh, catch up with grandparents, see my nana. Uh, my granddad's obviously not too well in, in, a, in a care home, so it's always nice to, to go and see him. And especially once you've been, been away in India where things haven't gone too well, there's always a bit of perspective put on life. And, um, yeah, so it's been nice to, to go home, to catch up with everybody, Um and yeah, obviously we've got we've got another week now of, of chilling out or whatever, and then we're straight back out to the West Indies. So, don't actually want to do too much. Just want to chill out, enjoy being at home, enjoy being in. Then it's just nice being on your own. And mm. certainly for me and Liv, just being away from boys twenty four seven, and always feeling like you've got to take the mick out of somebody or or something. <laughs> so. No, it's nice to just to just chill out, and enjoy being at home, enjoying being in your own home and um, yeah sort of refresh and, and get ready to go again yeah I had to apologize to Claire in advance for some of the language that might come out of my mouth the first week of being home because obviously when you sp- <laughs> when you're around the lads for such a long time like we were you just sort of tend to fall into you know, you know like uh, just certain words that come out of your mouth and you like say it when you're at home and you're like oh like you just sort of you just forget that you can you know, you don't use the same language as you do at home that you can when you're away in the dressing room with the boys or chilling around at the hotel with the boys and stuff like that. So she can always tell when I've been away for a long period of time and I'm like, yeah, sorry, don't worry, I'll sort that out. It won't take me long. What well, um, what were you most looking forward to on a serious note getting home? Was it the kids and Claire or was it the dogs? Yeah, no, I, was, I mean, Claire watches this, so I'm going to have to say Claire and the kids and then the dogs were <laughs> a close second. <laughs> Oh, but look, I mean, um, normally when we get home, like, you know, it's we live in just outside of Durham. We flew into Manchester, so it's like a two-hour drive. Normally, I'll just get um, our team manager to organise a driver to pick me up and take me home. But, you know, I, I messaged Claire a couple of days before, no, a week before we're flying, saying, look, I could really do with seeing you and the kids at the airport, not an Emirates driver. Um so they came down, picked me up. So it was buzz. I was really happy to see them and, and get in the car and not have to put my earpods in and watch a, a movie, counting down the hours until we got home. Uh, oh. that, that's the and then getting home and you know seeing the dogs because they've got no idea that I'm coming home, but their reaction every time I come in, come home after being away for a long time is class. Um, they get a little bit, they get a little bit excited. Um, so yeah, it's it's a great feeling, but yeah, nothing beats seeing the the misses and the kids. Um, yeah, it was class seeing them in the airport. Um, what else have we got? I'm trying to think. I, I've I mean, nothing to do with well, it's slightly related to cricket, but I've actually had little had some stuff come out, come out, cut uh, one thing cut out my arm, one thing cut out my hand. Some damage. Had this? Oh, it was just, this was like three days ago. Really. So that's gone from cricket to to normality pretty quick. Um, brought you brought you back down to earth. Yeah, here you go. Wow. Coming. I mean, it is from well, some you know, it's like some damage that we get from being out in the sun all the time. So I had those little things removed. So you got a little one, little thing here. Oh yeah, I had that cut out, and then one on there. Hopefully, this will affect me tattoo. <laughs> Slice your tattoo open. Slice my tattoo open. Yeah, you can't um, get it on the camera because it's following your head. 
No, I can't get it on. But yeah, uh, that was actually one of the first things I had to get done, actually. Um, was that from the summer where the guy came in? Yeah, well, no, actually, I picked it up whilst we were out in India because I, I thought it was like a spot or something like that. I showed Doc and he was like, oh, no, we need to go and get get to see Walter to, to take that out. Um, was that the guy yeah. that was on our flight on the way back? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, I, that's that's who that was, Walt. So he was the guy. So we see, <laughs> funny, I, I had a doctor's appointment to get me, um like, sort of sun damage stuff cut out. Um, and the, the guy who I was going to see was actually on a flight from Dubai back to, to Manchester. Um, but yeah, other than that, mate, so, to be honest, it's just that period of chill, isn't it? I mean, it's different it for you because you've got to leave again soon. Yeah, I've probably got a week. Um, the one thing I did say when I got home was I wasn't touching a cricket bat and a cricket ball for, for the whole, whole time I'm here. Um, just to try and completely reverse. I, I actually enjoy getting back to normal life, normal routines. And one of mine and Olivia's um, massive things is breakfast in the morning. Mm. I can hear the dog now scraping at the at the door <laughs> because he knows it's time to go for a walk, to go for breakfast. So, um, yeah, it's it's being able to just stroll down to the local coffee shop, have breakfast, um, not, ask, not have to ask for your eggs. Well done. That's a bonus as well. Um, so, yeah, it's... Yeah, just getting back to normal life, um, being able to stroll out for some nice coffee, um, and yeah, just enjoying enjoying a routine again. Because uh, I think we both know as you as you go along in India, your your alarm gets later and later and later, and you just end up eating your eating your omelette in bed because you can't be bothered going to the same breakfast place you've been for months. So um, yeah, the the biggest thing that I enjoy is getting back into a routine, cooking food. Being able to go to the shop and cook whatever you want. So um, yeah, we did that last night as well. We had fajitas. So yeah, it's just en- enjoying enjoying a week of chill before um, yeah we we get back going. I mean, it's not the worst thing heading out to the Caribbean for for a month before Christmas. So yeah, just try and mentally refresh and, and get as ready as we can to go again. Nice one. Well, we've uh, certainly got different plans you can join a week at home i've got quite a nice break obviously um got my knee surgery coming up so um that'll be my my next six seven weeks will just be about getting that done getting ready for the test tour out in india um but look i think you know you've obviously watched us on our blogs over the last sort of you know, especially the first four about us being out in India. So I hope you've enjoyed sort of listening to me and Liam talking about sort of what we get up to um, when we do get home. And as you can see, we're pretty chilled uh, people away from cricket, pretty normal. We like food, we like chilling out. We like watching TV, which is pretty what pretty much what everyone else um, enjoys doing. Um, but I think that's that's us going to sign off there. Um, we hope you've enjoyed listening to me and Liam talk throughout the, uh, throughout the World Cup uh, sort of you know, getting an insight into things away from cricket, uh, which is something that you don't necessarily get to hear or see um, from us. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see a, another nation uh, win a World Cup that's been played in their their country because we did it last time. Um, that's no dig at the opposition who's taken on India, by the way, but. Uh, but yeah, no. Look, I'm looking forward to watching that final. It's going to be class. Always the two best teams always rise to the top in a tournament like that. So, uh, two very well deserved finalists, and I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. Uh, but look, hope you enjoy. That's me and Liam going to sign off there. Cheers, guys. Cheers.